my most successful accomplishment in the uh, athletic world was winning the New York State Potato Sack Championship race of the Boy Scouts of New York when I was uh, 12 years old. I was a small kid, you know, the big kids would choose for the football, and if it was an even number, I got chosen last. If it was an uneven number, I didn't get to play because I was an odd person. So this is my great opportunity to excel. I'm a quilter. I started quilting a few years ago, and it's really exciting just because it's something very like detail-oriented. And I think it's always exciting to make something that you can use. I feel that maybe in another life, uh, I might, I could have been a writer maybe, or a historian. Every now and then I, uh, I try to read about history and I enjoy very much reading uh, history. My favorite thing in the world is to go out in the winter into the Australian desert camping. It is such an incredibly beautiful, vast landscape. Being out in that primitive landscape somehow puts life in perspective. It's, it renews the soul. Genesis of the ProMeister Green Guard Prize uh, goes back to uh, the year 2000 when I uh, won the Nobel Prize in uh, Physiology of Medicine for our work on the brain. And my wife and I were trying to decide what to do with that money and we both agreed that it would be nice to set up a prize uh, to honor the most outstanding woman or women in the world each year for their work in specifically in the area of uh, biomedical research. I think the Perlmeister Green Guard Prize is amazing. I think the story behind it, both from the personal side and the scientific side, is truly remarkable. The prize is called the Perlmeister Green Guard Prize uh, because it was uh, named in honor of my mother who died giving birth to me. Uh, I obviously never knew her. She was a very, from, by all accounts, a very talented woman, and she was restricted to doing secretarial work. Uh, and it seemed that it would be a nice thing, since I wanted to do something about discrimination against women, to uh, name it in her memory. This prize is, is quite unique and, and very special to me, because I think there are very few prizes that are uh, uniquely established to honor women, and particularly uniquely established to honor women in the sciences. Events like the Green Guard Award are great because they get us all excited into seeing that there will be some recognition, and even though some of the statistics are against us, there's still a lot of opportunities out there. The world has changed for women in science, but if you look at the statistics, it hasn't changed nearly enough, despite huge advances. More than 50% of the PhD students are women, more than 50% of the postdocs are women. But if you look at the senior positions, the statistics are still very bad. You really see that a lot of the advisors you have are men, and a lot of your choices are working with men, even though a lot of the students are women. Before I came to Rockefeller, the director of graduate studies in our department at a major medical school came to ask my advice about who we should put on the thesis committee of a female graduate student. I said, so-and-so, of course. He said, we cannot have her. I said, why not? He said, because she's a woman. And I said, well, what's that have to do with anything? And he said, well, you can't put a woman faculty member on the thesis committee of a woman graduate student. When I gave my very first talk, there were only two women speakers. Often women face uh, particular challenges, and it's often not easy. It's a little bit scary to think that I'm taking into account, you know, how this will affect whether I'm able to have a family as well as have a career in science, and I won't want to really be making those choices. Those of us involved with this prize were delighted when the 2008 uh, ProMeister Green Guard Award winners went on to win the Nobel Prize in 2009. Even if all discrimination against women were abolished, I would still love to see the prize continue 
if for no other reason than as a memorial to the discrimination that women labored under in previous years. I think that um, it's taken a long time, but finally people are realizing that they just have not been seeing what is in front of their eyes.